it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're going to be talking about how to use cross products to solve proportions. You might remember just a lesson or two ago we talked about proportions and that they are equal ratios form proportions, right? Now, I also am going to introduce this little piece about cross products. Take a look. This problem, we have two thirds and we have six ninths, or we have, you know, two is to three, is six is to nine when we talk in ratio talk, right? But how do I know if these are equal? Well, one way we know that it's equal is I figure out what number I multiply this ratio by to get this one. And we said that three times what is nine? Well, three times three is nine. And what you do to the bottom, you gotta do to the top. So two times three is six. And this tells us that they are equal, right? That's one way to do it. Now, you can't always do it like that, so I'm gonna show you another way to do it. It is called cross multiplying or using cross products. So if I multiply 9 times 2, which would give me 18, and then I multiply the other 2, 6 times 3, that also gives me 18. If the two, two numbers match, if the cross products match, then your proportion is equal. Now why is this useful? In some problems, we're not going to have that nice equivalent to multiply by. So cross products can be very helpful. Take a look at this example. 8 6 and 12 9 Are these equal proportions? Well, as you can see, we can't do a nice number to, you know, to multiply this by to get this one. 6 times what is 9? It has to be something with a fraction. That's not what we're trying to do. That gets complicated. So. Let's try doing the cross products. 9 times 8 is 72. And 12 times 6 is also 72. So look at that. These equal. So cross products will tell you when proportions are equal. And how we know that is if we tried to simplify both of these proportions, we could see that 8 6 would simplify down to 4 thirds, and 12 ninths would also simplify down to 4 thirds. So they are equal proportions because of that root ratio is 4 over 3. But the proportion, or the cross product, gives us an easy way to figure out that they are equal. What about this problem? Are these equal proportions? Well, let's try multiplying and get those cross products. 5 times 3 is 15. 10 times 2 is 20. 15 does not equal 20, so that means that 5 halves does not equal 10 thirds. These proportions are not equal. So how is this useful? Well, when we have a missing number, we can use cross products to see what the missing number is. Take a look. Here, if we multiply 4 times a, we're going to get 4a. If we multiply 10 times 16, we're going to get 160. This is just a missing number in multiplication, so we're going to divide to find out the answer. We're going to divide both sides by 4. Well, I'm left with a on this side. And on this side, 4 goes into 16 4 times, 4 goes into 0 0 times. That means that A is 40, so our missing number is 40, which means 4 16 equals 10 over 40. Now, let's see if we can find this missing number using our cross products. All right, let's do it. I'm going to do 21 times 4. And we, I'll do it over to the side. 21 times 4 is 84 equals 14 times x. Okay, well, this is a missing number in multiplication, which means I divide. I end up with x on this side, and then 14, uh, 84 divided by 14 should be 6. Let's just double check it. 14 times 6, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2 is 84. There you go. 6 is our answer for our missing number, which means our proportion 4 14 equals 6 over 21. That's it. 
Cross products or cross multiplication is an easy way to check to see if proportions are equal and to help find missing numbers and ratios. Now that's it for me today. It's the cold math lady. Make sure you try the practice problems to really make sure you understand this. They're on my website, NicoleTheMathLady.com. See you next time. Bye-bye.